Hey YouTube! I'm back with a quick sum up of my online coming up online class uh, called uh, Inner Circle Journal and I just wanted to give you a little idea of what is going to be happening in this class. So on the supply list uh, you'll find paints, um, inks, uh, let's see what else is interesting. Well, a glue stick, that's pretty normal. Brushes and scissors and some pencils and pens. Crayons and portfolios. You know, some masking tape and craft foam, which is just available at the, at the uh, craft store. Kitty aisle, about 30 cents a piece. And um, what I'm trying to do is keep the supplies as simple as possible uh, and um, so that they're really readily available. Uh, there'll be, I'll give all sorts of tips on alternatives to paint so that if you don't have the best paint, uh, you know, we'll talk about substitutes. I, I happen to love Goldens and uh, I, I use them all the time. So that's what I have, but I can give you substitutes for the colors that I'm using and you'll only need three. You can add more if you'd like, if you're using uh, cheap craft paint or that's what you have available. Um, the book is generally speaking, this is the size if you are using a full sheet of paper and it is opens like this and you can use a page at a time and then I call it the circle journal because it actually moves in a circle in terms of once you close that last page there's another set of pages and a pocket uh, that will be putting a little sealed with a kiss note in. And uh, we will be, I will teach some sewing unless nobody wants to do that. This is sort of a student run class. So what you're interested in is what I will be teaching. I have some, of course, ideas. We'll be doing some stenciling. We'll be doing some work with symbols and developing your set of symbols and why they are important to you. And this is simple you know, hearts, one of my favorites, houses, people shapes. So symbols, adding symbols to your personal visual vocabulary will be important in this class. And to that end, we'll be doing some stenciling and stamping with really cheap craft foam. You'll be creating your own set of stamps with that. Um, you'll need or you, I always have a journal at the ready. I'm using Stonehenge paper. This is the smaller size. This is the size I folded this book from a half sheet of Stonehenge. Um, and this is from a quarter sheet of Stonehenge. So you can work with any size paper that you want and certainly any kind of paper that you want. Um, as long as it's, it's relatively heavy and smooth. Uh, I like Stonehenge because it, it isn't all that expensive. There's, um, oh, the blender the pen. The chart pack blender pen. And um, we'll be using this with photocopies to make some transfers. Um, and then just uh, papers that, that you like to work with and collage with. So stamp pads. Stamp pads. I think that's pretty much it. Um, the, the idea is that you're going to be sort of charting what is important to you. Um, um, the symbols that are important to you, the things that you value about yourself that are important to you, um, maps of where you've lived and how you felt then, and um, the, the whole idea is sort of a vessel. I, I am a vessel. You are a vessel. And this book will be a vessel. So there'll be all sorts of acrylic 
paint techniques, stance, stem, stenciling, stamping, drawing. Yes, you can. You can draw. I'll show you how. And um, ink techniques, spilling, splashing, blowing, all those, all those gooey, wonderful things. And as we go along in the class, if my students say, ah, we don't want to sew, there will be no sewing. If everybody's really digging the sewing, we'll be doing a little bit more of it. So this is a student-led class in a lot of respects. I'm sort of going to let it grow organically, and we'll be using the supplies that I'm giving you here and trying to keep things as economical and as green as possible. So that's my plan. I hope you'll join me. Sign-ups end, I think it's the 18th of April. Class begins April 21st. And uh, please join me. I'd love to have you. Uh, you can look at my blog, dianatrout.blogspot.com. And if you go to the stationary pages on the top, you'll see one that says um, Inner Circle Journal. There's a PayPal link there and all that business. Looking forward to having you in my class. Bye now.